everyone, I am Chef Mike and today I'm going to teach you my favorite octopus recipe with confit garlic puree, chorizo and pickled carrots. So let's do it. And let's start with cooking the octopus. I have here this beautiful creature and I'm planning to cook it first and then sear it in chorizo oil before plating. Before we get to that, I need to prepare some vegetables for the cooking broth. I'm using carrots and onions, but feel free to substitute with whatever you prefer. Into the pot, they go along with peppercorns, salt, fresh thyme and blend of the red wine and water. I'm using ratio of about 3 parts of water to 1 part wine. And then you bring it to the boil. And let's do a quick test. Let's see what my inspector thinks of the octopus. It is his first time octopus tasting, so he is not expert yet, but guess what? It looks like he approves. So the octopus is cooking and now I have to start with my confit garlic puree. I recommend buying peeled garlic, especially since you need quite a lot for this puree. Of course, you can stick to the classic method and peel it yourself if you prefer. And I will cover the garlic with oil and cook it at around 100 degrees Celsius until it achieves light brown color, which will probably take about one hour. In the meantime, as my broth is boiling, I will turn the heat down and cook the octopus on low heat. For the size I have, it will take about one hour, but if yours is bigger, it might need more time. For the next garnish, I want to make pickled carrots. Inside this dish, there is gonna be elder fat, so one very sour garnish will improve the taste overall. So I wash one big carrot and slice it thinly on mandolin. Then I mix 300 ml of water, 100 ml of vinegar, 2 spoons of sugar, half a spoon of salt and few pieces of star anise and bring it to the boil. And when the mixture is boiling, I will cover my sliced carrots in the bowl and leave them to cool down there. The garlic has nicely browned, so I strain it and then transfer it into the blender. I add some lemon juice and salt and blend it until smooth. I used a good amount of garlic, but I still had to use a very small blender. So if you only have a big blender, you need to use much more garlic, otherwise you won't be able to blend it properly. At the end, I strain it into the bottle and my puree is ready for plating. And the last thing I have to prepare is my potato and chorizo mix. I will use it as the garnish and the rest of the oil from chorizo I use for searing the octopus. I peel one potato which is enough for me now, but if you are preparing more portions, you will of course need more. I aim to cut it into small dices to mix it with the chorizo later on. First, I slice it, then cut two slices into sticks. And finally, dice it. Try to make them at the same size. Uniformity always looks good on the plate. And keep them in the cold water so they don't get brown. And I will do essentially the same with chorizo. Of course, it's impossible to cut chorizo as nicely as the potato, but try your best to keep the same size consistent. Now, I cook the potatoes in salted water until they get soft, probably just few minutes. Meanwhile, on the pan, I start searing the chorizo. And after a few minutes, when the chorizo has released its oil, I set some of the oil aside and I mix the rest with my cooked potatoes.
I cook them together for about one minute. Season it if necessary with salt and pepper and my garnish is ready to go. And now let's finish the octopus. I take it out from the liquid and cut it into smaller pieces. Using my chorizo oil on the high heat, I sear the octopus on both sides until it's nicely colored. Remember, this octopus should always be done last because it's difficult to reheat it if done too early. And with everything ready, let's move on to the plating. Today I will do two platings. The second one you can watch like always as the bonus on my Patreon page. Check out the link in the description below. I start with few pieces of octopus on the plate. Keeping in the mind this is a starter, so I use just a few. Next comes my mix of potatoes and chorizo. I am using ring for the presentation, but it's easily achievable even without them. Then I add my confit garlic puree with lemon. Some pickled carrots on the top. And finish it with fresh herbs. And by the way, if you are eager to elevate your home cooking and master the basics of fine dining in just few months, allowing you to be more creative with your dishes and develop your own cooking style, you should check out one website and apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching. If you are a good match, I can personally guide you in enhancing your cooking and plating skills to the next level. But this is only for serious people who are actually willing to invest time, energy and money into it, because otherwise it's not gonna work. And if you want to learn another seafood starter, Check out this video and learn my recipe with scallop tartar, citrus seeds and avocado. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.